administration tonight released partial records from the Kennedy assassination files that have been kept secret for decades. 7 Action News reporter Gino Vici talked to a renowned medical examiner in Metro Detroit who has an insider's view of this historic case. Gino? Well, he sure does, Stephen. Inside this small medical office in St. Clair Shores is a man who's been a part of some very big cases. Dr. Werner Spitz has examined more than 60,000 autopsies in his career. He says one he's thought about over and over and over, this one, JFK. It is hard for me to relive all that. Time heals all wounds, but not for this Metro Detroit forensic pathologist. Dr. Warner Spitz, who in 1975 was asked by Congress to examine the autopsy of President John F. Kennedy. The memory of seeing the photos for the first time is something he'll never forget. Cold sweat ran down my back to see the president on the autopsy table like that. The U.S. Congress decided shortly after the president's assassination, the documents related to John F. Kennedy's death, including autopsy photos, hundreds of them, would be released 50 years later. That brings us to today, 54 years later. Controversy still surrounds November 22nd, 1963. Because the autopsy report describes it as an entrance bullet wound. And that's not changeable at this time because Dr. Hume, who did the autopsy, has died. After spending the day at the National Archives in Washington, D.C., Dr. Spitz concluded then, as he still does today, the bullet wound in the front of JFK's neck was in fact an exit wound because, to put it plainly, two entrance wounds would have resulted in two bullets lodged in the president's body. As for the release of the JFK files, Dr. Spitz says it may finally end many years of controversy and speculation. They should see and they should remember what happened. Dr. Spitz, who is the former medical examiner for both Wayne and Macomb County, says he still believes Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. He also believes the release of these documents will prove just that. We're live in St. Clair Shores, Gino Vici, 7 Action News. And somehow I don't think anything's going to change that, even those newly released papers. Thank you, Gino, for the live report. Carolyn?